Hello, I'm Pauline, the founder of Ohm Cycle Yoga, yoga for balancing your ovulation menstruation cycle. So today's practice is based on the luteal phase when your hormones think you're pregnant and so your levels of stress are naturally higher, which brings more awareness, more intuition, but also it does slow down digestion. So today's focus is going to be to relieve your stress and to help your digestion so that you can have a happy, healthy luteal phase before your period. I hope you enjoy. Hello. Let's just take a moment to close down our eyes and sitting on our heels hands at your heart center or down on your lap and just tune into your breath letting go of what no longer serves you to just be fully present for these next moments together this luteal phase is very much about attaching to our our emotions so this intention will be to detach from these hormonal patterns that we have from shame from guilt from jealousy to focus back on our center and our path our truth Let's take this moment to set an intention And embody it with your breath. Take another three deep breaths. Beautiful. Let's start in a tabletop position with your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And have your toes tucked or untucked. Just really find some groundedness in your hands and your feet. Connect with the earth. And as you inhale, reach your chest forward, your belly dips, your hips come up for cow pose. As you exhale, push your heart through to the sky, tucking in your chin and tailbone, cat. And just move between these two at your own breath, your own pace. Warming up the spine. You can even try breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Throughout this luteal phase or our fall or autumn phase of our cycle, we have a slower digestion. And so by bringing movement into our solar plexus, then we can focus on our digestion. Our solar plexus is our pancreas, which is in charge of our insulin levels, our blood sugar. It's also our adrenals, where we produce stress, which we naturally have higher levels of during this phase because our hormones think we're pregnant and we want to lower our stress levels during this time. So bring your breath and your awareness into your solar plexus, the space right below your the bottom of your rib cage, above your belly button, and start to bring some organic movements into your spine by rotating your hips, your shoulders, your neck, in all circular motions wherever your body feels to take you. And 
make sure to switch sides or directions. Take another three deep breaths to come back to a neutral spine to neutral tabletop position. And once you're here, really ground through your left hand. Raise your right hand up to the sky as you breathe in. Rotate your right wrist in three directions or in three circles in each direction. And as you exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left, hovering your right hand, shoulder, and arm above the ground. Stay here for a breath. And your next breath in, reach your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread it through and hover. Bringing it back up to the sky with your breath in. And exhale, thread it through, this time placing your hand, arm, and shoulder down to the mat. Reach your left hand overhead towards the front of your mat. Relax here, breathe through the lower rib cage. And take one more breath. Reach your left arm back to its neutral tabletop position. Breathe in, reach your right arm up to the sky. And exhale, tabletop. Go through one round of cat-cow here. Breathe in, reach your chest forward, belly dips. And exhale for cat. Push your heart through your shoulder blades, tucking in your chin and tailbone. Coming back to neutral spine. Take a breath and a moment here. Really ground through your right hand this time. Inhale, left hand comes up to the sky. Rotate your left wrist in three circles in each direction. Take a breath in to extend. And exhale, thread it through. Hover, stay for a breath. And your next breath in, reach your left hand back up to the sky. Exhale, thread it through, hover. Inhale, back up. Exhale, thread it through. This time, placing your left hand, arm and shoulder down to the mat. Reach your right hand overhead towards the front of the mat. Take three long, deep breaths here. As you exhale, place your right hand by your face. Reach your left hand back up to the sky on your breath in. And exhale, tabletop. Beautiful. Take a breath here, come back to your intention. And tuck your toes on your next breath out. Reach your hips up for down dog. Pedal out your feet, walk your dog. This is the time of our cycle when we are a bit more flexible in our body. Really press through the outer edge of, of your hands, elbows pointing out, armpits rolling in towards your face. Allow space in your neck, your shoulders. And the point of this pose is to really extend your spine, so reach your hips up and bend as much in your knees as you feel. Come to stillness. And as you breathe in, roll forward to high plank. As you exhale, lower your knees, chest, chin to the earth. Preparing for baby cobra. Inhale, reach your chest forward, lengthen your neck, elbows pointing back, toes connected to the earth. And exhale, lower down. 
take a moment here. Third eye connected to the earth. Tuck your toes on your breath out, down dog. And your next breath in, reach your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring your right foot between your hands, low lunge. Lower the back knee, inhale, anjanyasana, arms and torso come up. Inhale here, lengthen your fingertips towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Hook your left elbow on the outside of your right knee, twisting towards the right. If you like, you can extend your arms here, opening up your wings. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, come back to Anjanyasana, arms and torso come up. Exhale, both hands down to the mat, high plank, right leg goes back, and either knees, chest, chin down to the ground, or find your vinyasa flow, chaturanga, inhale to up dog, and exhale, hips come back to down dog. Left leg comes up to the sky, three-legged dog on your breath in. Exhale, reach your left leg forward, low lunge. Lower your back knee, inhale, arms come up to Anjanyasana. And take a breath in to extend your fingertips higher. And as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center, twist to the left, hooking your right elbow over the left. If you did so on the other side, open up your wings. One more breath here. And exhale, bring your arms back through center, Anjanyasana, arms and torso are up. And exhale, hands come down, framing your left foot. Step your left foot back, high plank, and lower down, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga into baby cobra, or up dog. And exhale, find your way to tabletop position. Take a moment here, take a breath. And sit back on your heels to child's pose, wide-legged child's pose. Lower down your chest, your fingertips, reach forward to the front of your mat. Toes are together, knees are out wide. We're getting into our liver meridian here. Our liver has over 500 functions and detoxing is such an important one of the liver. It metabolizes all of our hormones and needs to by the end of the month to start our cycle again. Breathe with your belly. Three more deep breaths. As you inhale, reach your chest forward to come up, crawling your fingertips towards your center, bringing your knees together. And just lay onto, roll over onto one side of your hips, bring your legs forward. And we'll come to our knees up towards the sky and lower your back down to the earth. Bring your hands out to a T or to a cactus. Shift your hips over to the right, knees into your chest and lower them gently over to the left side, gazing over your right shoulder. You can have any variation of your knees here. So you can either bring your left hand on top of your knees to create more weight you can intertwine your legs together. As long as your right shoulder is connected to the earth, you can have a deeper twist here by interlacing your knees. Or you can place a pillow or a block or even your fist between your knees to create more space. 
breathe with your belly here so that you are massaging your internal organs. For another three deep breaths. Slowly bring your knees back up through center. Shift your hips over to the left side. Knees into your chest and gently placing them down towards the right side. Gazing over your left shoulder. Find whatever variation suits you on this side. Interlacing, hand on your left leg or in between your knees. Maybe closing down the eyes and focusing on your solar plexus, the decision-making center. This is such a good time to make important decisions in your life because you have both progesterone and estrogen on your side here. They're both up and you're not eitherly or you're not overly optimistic nor overly pessimistic so this is a great time to be doing pros and cons or yeah just making important life decisions here another couple of deep breaths Bringing your knees back up through center. Neutralize your spine. And coming into a happy baby, but first just tuck in your tailbone under so that your lower back is flat to the mat. Bring your knees into your chest and then grab the outer edges of your feet from in between your knees and just make sure that your shoulders and your lower spine is connected to the earth. You can rock and roll from side to side gently. Put a big smile on your face because that's what a happy baby does. When ignorance is bliss, life is simple. Eat, sleep, repeat. <laughs> Have fun. One more deep breath here. And as you exhale, sprawl out, legs out wide into Shavasana, hands by your side with your palms facing up. And completely allow yourself to surrender and to relax down and be as heavy as possible as connected to the earth as possible. Take another three deep breaths, make them nourishing. Bring some movement into your toes and your fingers. And stretch out your fingertips overhead as if you just woke up. Point your toes, squeeze your face. And as you exhale, bring your knees into your chest. Kiss both knees for self-love. Rolling on to your left side, the lunar feminine side, into fetal position. A reminder to 
always come back to your intention and to start a new cycle whenever you feel. Fully embody your intention here and rise up to a comfortable seated position with your eyes heavier closed. Bring your hands to heart center. Bring your thumbs to third eye and gratitude for all the lessons and experiences we learn and grow from. And glide them down towards your mouth. Just speak kind and loving words. Glide your thumbs down to your heart for kind and loving actions. And we bow down to Mother Earth in gratitude for all the life and nourishment she provides us with. Namaste. Namaste.